Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome in. If you're new here, me and my wife Renee, we are resellers on eBay. And we've also started selling on TikTok. Not TikTok. I keep doing that. I don't know why. So we have a TikTok account. Go check it out. <clears throat> Flipping Flamingos. But we are reselling also on Whatnot. So check that out. And... We're flipping flamingos on whatnot. We're flipping flamingos on TikTok. Uh, we also have an Instagram, flipping flamingos, uh, Facebook, and eBay, and YouTube. So check us out everywhere. Give us likes and subscribes or follows or whatever the social media calls themselves their friend requesting doodahs but anyways we're gonna do what sold today and sales have been good over the weekend so this is february 20th president's day um <clears throat> Didn't have many sales towards the end of last week. Actually, I don't think we had any on Thursday and Friday. That's why there's no video for those days. And, uh, yeah, we sold nine items over the weekend. And total of $471.78. So, let's get started. I'll show them to you. First is this set of four audiobooks on CD. They are Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins, read by Frank Mueller. I think they're all the same. Uh, one's read by Jack Sonderick or something like that. But anyways, four audiobooks. Pick these all up at a garage sale for two dollars i believe for all of them so 50 cent a piece sold them in a lot for 30 dollars buyers all in at 35.92 they'll ship media mail and that is i think it's about a 25 dollar profit took them a little while to sell but they sold i'll spend two dollars and let it just sit around for a while to make 25 it's better than the uh stock market next is this red man belt buckle pick this up at a garage sale for two dollars and fifty cents i think i got two for two belt buckles for five bucks is what i i did but i don't even remember which other one it was this one the red man one sold for 12.50 buyers all in at 19.85 and that is about an eight or nine dollar profit there. And it didn't take it a real long time to sell, but a little while, a couple months. There was a bunch of them out there. Next, Haynes Repair Manual. You see these out somewhere. I don't even care what the shape of them is. As long as you can read them, people will buy them because they're not for collections or anything they're for working on their cars anyways i picked this one up for 50 cents at a thrift store picked up three or four of them and this one sold for 12.99 buyers all in at 1855 so we're looking at uh about a ten dollar profit there probably a little more than 10 but we'll say 10 to be safe Next is a circuit breaker. This one has all kinds of dust and stuff on it. Picked this up at a garage sale and paid a buck for it. It's new in the package still. I mean, package is worn, but these things don't wear out. You see these somewhere, pick them up. Any kind of circuit breakers. People, people are always looking for them. If you can get them for a buck or so, pick them up. Just let them sit around, list them and let them sit. Somebody will buy them. This one sold for $28. Uh, 
and the buyer's all in at forty-one seventy-four. <clears throat> they probably paid up for their shipping to get it there a little faster because it's when these go out, you need them. And some of them are hard to find. And some of them are really expensive. So um, get them, get them out there. Dollar into 28, about another $25 profit there. And then I'm going to save that one for last because that is a big bolo and we need to talk about it. Uh, let's look at this one. This is a good sale. This little guy right here, vintage Romer, doctor, scientist, hand carved, wooden figure, made in Italy. So hello. These Romer figures, they're pretty unique by the facial structure. If you see these around, pick them up. Um, they sell pretty good. We have another one over there that is a nurse. So I'm guessing this is a doctor. We got them both. Did we get them at the same place? No, the nurse came from somewhere else. We got another one with the nurse and it's already sold. But we paid $10 for this one at a thrift store. <clears throat> and it sold for $62.99 and the buyer's all in at $86.50 for him. So we're looking at about a $45 profit there on that $10 buy. And it wasn't listed very long either. Next is a little red bird. This is Baby Royal Cardinal Glass Bird signed Leo Ward by Terra Studios, made in the USA. So it still has the sticker on the bottom, if it'll focus. And then there's a signature on there etched in. I don't know if you can see it or not. And it's from 2003. So pick this up with a bunch of other glass birds, kind of like it, at auction. Um, so we paid about $8.50 for it. Paid up a little bit, and but it sold for $29.99, and the buyer's all in at $43.22 to get that bird to them. Next, another good pickup. So, whenever you see sets of books in a box, or a sleeve, or a protector case, or whatever you want to call it, look them up. This is a John Steinbeck Centennial Editions box set of six. Has six different books in it. Um, East of Eden, Grapes of Wrath. My dogs are barking outside. That's not the title of a book. <clears throat> Anyways, we went to an estate sale, made a pile. Lady gave us a price. I was eh, on the price. So I went and I grabbed that set of books and another set of books and said, if you throw these two sets in, I'll take it. And she did. So basically I got the books for free and they sold in less than a week for $74.63. Buyers all in at $90.80. And that's after fees, uh, about $60 plus in my pocket off of that. And then we sold two little Christmas ornaments. Christmas sells year round. This is the middle of February and we're selling Christmas ornaments. So if you see Christmas stuff out at garage sales, look it up, pick it up, list it, let it sit all year. It'll sell. Not a lot of money. Got about a buck into these things and they sold for $9.50. Probably have less than a buck into those. I think we bought a big box of them and We've parted them out. So we're probably looking at about nine, eight fifty in uh profit. Buyers all in at twenty two seventy seven. Oof. Those have gotta be going to like Hawaii or something. And then last sale. Got the cord for it. 
And if you've been watching our videos, you saw me sell another version of this not too long ago. This is TV Guardian a Foul Language Filter. I picked one up at a garage sale. It was a little, it was a different model than this, but it was made by TV Guardian and it was still new in the package. I paid like a buck for it at a garage sale. Sold it for 60 something dollars. This TV Guardian model number 501, this is the one to look for. Any of them's good, but this is the one that sells for the most. Picked this up at a thrift store for seven bucks and it sold for $89 in less than 48 hours. So about a $70 profit there. Uh, buyers all in at $112.43. So TV Guardian, Bolo, keep a lookout for it. Anyways, that's it. Going to get these packaged up and we'll add some more to this. So hang on. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Welcome back. <clears throat> so, oh, don't have a hat on. Still see the dimples in my head from my hat from work. Just got home from work. We got off early today because uh, our basketball team, high school varsity boys, is playing for the district championship and should win that game pretty easily so they let school out early so all the students could go see the game and then we may not have any school at all on friday because they will be playing for a state championship so anyways let's get back into it <clears throat> first off is a vintage luster wear sugar and creamer we paid up a little bit for it because that's the kind of stuff we like to sell so we will pay up for it a little bit paid ten dollars for those at a thrift store and they sold for 25 dollars buyers all in at 38.53 and that's a about a 12 dollar profit for us so I mean, we doubled our money on it but we like to do a little more than that most of the time like this next sale picked up this bag of tech decks here it's got some tools in it and it's got some little little tiny skateboards in it that aren't tech decks but anyways it's a lot of uh seven tech decks and then some tools and extras and stuff picked it up at a garage sale for one dollar and sold it for $25. That's more like it. Buyers all in at $32.54. And that's that's a $20 plus dollar profit for us. So that I like. <clears throat> 20 times my money. And then this. This is a bolo. This is a unopened film. Kodak Max. 400 speed film it is expired uh where's the expiration date there we go 12 2007 it expired that's right there in the title the title is uh kodak max versatility 35 millimeter color film three rolls 24 exposure iso 400 expires 12 2007 pick that up at a thrift store for one dollar and it sold pretty quick, less than a week, for $29.99 plus shipping. Buyers all in. Oh no, that was free shipping, sorry. Buyers all in at $32.09. So with the shipping, we'll do five, six, and two, about $19 uh, profit. So 19 times my money. I'll take it. Next is, again, something else we enjoy selling. Renee likes the vintage jewelry. I'm getting to like it. But we picked this up at a thrift store. Paid $10 for this one. And it sat around for a while. We took an offer on it for... Nine, or we made an offer on it for $19.99. 
think we were asking like 25 for it. Anyways, buyers all in at 27.50 and that is 10 it's about an $8 profit, but super easy to ship. We enjoy doing the listings and shopping for them and stuff, so we'll take it. We take the fun stuff with the high dollar or big return, not high dollar, but bigger returns. Next is <clears throat> golf club head covers, vintage golf club head covers. Um, they have like a cloth lining in them. They're faux leather. Um, made in England. There's four of them. Paid $3 for it at a thrift store and they sold for $35. Buyers all in at $48.14. And that is about a 27 27 dollar profit 26 somewhere in there so and i i actually like selling that kind of stuff so that's like a win-win next is a a lot of these cross stitches so we had these five lotted up and we had about a dollar 25 into these uh from a garage sale and then this one was a separate listing by itself had about a dollar into this one so about two dollars and 25 cents total on all the cross stitches <clears throat> and sold both of them to the same buyer for 21.99 they're all in at 34.54 um, it's about a $15, $16 profit there. So pick those up whenever you can for cheap, cheap and list them. They're easy to list, easy to store, easy to ship and just let them sit till they sell because they will sell eventually. Next is a pillowcase. Pick this up just a week or so ago. At an estate sale, they had a pillow in it. I took the pillow out because the pillow was just, it was just a pillow. Washed the cover and listed it. Picked it up for a dollar and sold it for $39. And I think it took about two days to sell. Buyers all in at $49.06. So it's the St. Lom or Lamont st michael european tapestry pillow cover 17 by 18 inches paris excellent use condition so that's about a 34 35 dollar profit and then our last item is our little st patrick's sale it's a hat We've got the shamrock it says drink up bitches on it Paid a dollar for this at a, I believe at a garage sale. It just says that I paid a dollar for it, but I think I got this at a garage sale. It's got a little shamrocks inside. It's nice and clean. And listed it for $12.99 and it sold. Buyers all in at $20.64 and I'm making about nine bucks on it. So that's everything we've sold. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video get this stuff packaged up and shipped out how is your sales doing i ask that every time sometimes we get comments sometimes we don't leave us a comment just say hey i like comments but anyways i hope everybody's doing good happy saint patrick's day if it hasn't passed by the time this video comes out and we'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>